Hey guys, this is Matt with bleepinjeep.com and today I'd like to talk to you about a few things before we do the lift um, on the front of the Jeep Cherokee. But first check out my website, bleepinjeep.com. It's got all the best off-road videos on YouTube, none of the boring stuff. And you can also find our t-shirts and our Facebook page there. Alright, so uh, we're about to do the front lift on the Jeep Cherokee. We've already done the rear. But before I get started, I'd like to discuss a few things uh, involving what it takes to do a lift. Um, on the front of a vehicle. On the front it's much more complicated um, because the front lift is a lot more difficult to do than the rear. Not, not that it's more difficult but there's more things that you have to think about and more components involved. I'm going to do the videos in sections but just because you see one section doesn't mean you can skip all the rest. Um, if I did the entire lift in one video it would be like three hours long and it wouldn't keep your attention, it would be pretty boring. So what we're going to do is go over it um, in different videos, but just because you see the one video where we do the lift doesn't mean you can't forget to extend your brake lines and so forth. So um, on a rear leaf spring vehicle like the Cherokee, um, there's only a few things that you need to think about when you lift the rear. All you need is taller leaf springs, or an add a leaf, or a lift block, or longer shackles or a bastard pack just to get your lift. And then of course um, if you've got uh, like three inches of lift or more you're going to need longer shocks, longer brake lines, three inches or more. And you'll need a slip yoke eliminator and a drive shaft that goes with it if you're doing five or more inches. So for the rear that's really, much, that's really pretty much all you need and it's fairly easy. But as you can see on the front lift it's quite a bit more difficult and there's a lot more stuff involved. To lift it all you really need is longer coil springs or a coil spacer and that's the easy part just to get it off the ground but there's some other things you have to take into consideration including the longer brake lines which we've already done the video on um, the longer shocks um, you'll need a longer or an adjustable track bar a drop pitman arm at three or more inches new lower control arms at four or more inches um, and upper control arms at five or more inches you'll need a sway bar disconnect or a drop sway bar um, link if you're going above three inches and a T-case drop or um, a slip yoke eliminator at five or more inches. Now you can do all of this even at two inches or you can just pick and choose. As you can see the more lift you have the more parts that you're going to need. So if you're just driving on the street you know maybe you can do one or two or three of these things but if you really want to get into off-road then you're probably going to need to do all of these things and work your way down the list here. Keep in mind that I just I just picked these numbers off the top of my head so I know there's going to be some problems with it but I'll leave those in the comments below. This isn't a, a guide, this is just, I just wanted to show you how there's more uh, responsibilities on the front end of the Jeep when you start adding the lift than on the rear. Make sure you do your research, watch the rest of the videos and we're not done. Give me just one second, I'm going to change this board up and show you a few more things. Alright guys, so when I decided to do the lift for the Black Cherokee we're going to call that the zombie build from now on, so the bleeping zombie Cherokee. Um, there were four different ways that I could add the lift. Number one was coil spacers only. Coil spacers can give you between a half inch to three inches of lift, or you can stack them, which I don't recommend at all. But uh, for three and a half inches of lift, it would have cost me about $76 for that. Um, option number two is just longer springs. Uh, now that's a pretty good option, and it's fairly cheap. For $120 I could get uh, three and a half inch springs for the Cherokee. And just longer springs on any vehicle you can go between zero and eight inches of lift. Um, so that's a, a good option too. Alright, option number three is the ACOS coil spacers. ACOS is adjustable coil over spacer. And those are really cool because you can adjust them up or down uh, to suit your needs. And those will add between one and a half inches and three and a half inches of lift. And option number four was what I decided to go with, and that's the ZJ coil springs. Now the ZJ coil springs will get you between one and two inches of lift, but the downside is you never know what you're going to get, whether you're going to get a one inch lift or two inch or somewhere in the middle. So what I decided to do was pair those with the ACOS coil spacers, and then I can fine tune that to three and a half inches of lift or whatever suits my needs. So for that, um, the ZJ coils are about $30 at the junkyard. So for about $290, um, we can do what we need to do. Now, the ACOS coil spacers are not your cheapest bet, but the really cool thing about them is um, you can change your mind. 
On the ACOS coil spacers, you can adjust for to match the rear height. You can adjust to match uh, left and right height differences. Let's say you've got a lot of weight on the left side of your vehicle. I don't know why that would be, but uh, if you did, you could adjust it and bring that back up. Um, you can adjust for changes in weight when adding bumpers and winches, etc. Let's say you have three and a half inches and you just added a bumper and a winch and now the front end is sagging quite a bit. You can just adjust and raise that up. Um, you can also use it to change your mind. Let's say you've got uh, three and a half inches of lift and all of a sudden you want to go to four inches. Well, all you need to do is add a half inch block in the rear, which is easy, and then adjust your coil spacers in the front. Um, so now you've got, you just went from three and a half inches to four inches without having to buy any additional parts for the front. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to check out my website, bleepinjeep.com. There you find all the best videos on YouTube, none of the boring stuff. You can also uh, check out our Facebook page there, and we've got the tees on there as well. Leave your comments below. I appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.